Go with this move first so that we can potentially level five when there's no danger to her. <laughs> level five while there's no danger. Go. Go level her. What was it? Well, there's no danger going on with her. And then potentially. I mean, I still feel like they could have grappling hook. But if they had grappling hook, they would have used it, right? If you, if you had grappling hook, you would, you would have used it by now. One would assume. I would assume. Hello everyone, Gloom is here for the Land Up channel with another deck for you today. This one, the Ruined Vikener deck, whereby we're using the new card Ruined Reckoner, which for, you, for those of you who don't know, Ruined Reckoner is a four cost who basically gives you Midnight Raid and rid Midnight Raid allows you to get a free attack. And so we are utilizing that in this deck by using Vi, because once we level up Vi, Vi getting a free attack is devastating because it definitely, especially if you're using it on your opponent's turn, it does mean that you're going to be smashing into your opponent's nexus for five damage regardless if they kill Vi or what so that's the reason why this is this deck has been made it's a really funny deck there's been a few people like i i did stream this and there's been a few like comments that have come out like saying like why play leblanc why not play riven riven could actually fit into this deck really well as as well uh, i just decided against putting riven and putting Le, uh, leblanc just because leblanc actually can level up very quickly through Vi as well because let's face it uh, leveled up Vi is if she does her punch of 10 damage and also that five damage that is instantly getting you that mirror image which gives you the chance to be able to use the mirror image on top of Vi and then you can use uh, Ruined Reckoner to get that free attack going forward and use it on the ephemeral version of Vi that way you're not actually risking your Vi's life the other way that we are using ephemeral Vi is also with called shot in this deck which allows you obviously the parallel convergence which allows boom a free attack with those which with uh, everything you've got ephemeral so that can either be used to help level up Vi, uh, if, which, if she's not already leveled, or it can be used once she's leveled, boom, just do that just to get additional damage in on your opponent with that strike of five guide into the, the Nexus. We've also got Whirling Death in here. So Whirling Death on top of Vi, if she's attacking forward, can yet again give you another five damage guide in, depending on whether or not like you're hitting more things on the board more targets so that is the deck that i have for you here there is definitely different things that i wish that i did add like for example i wish that i had bloody business bloody business would be a lovely card in this deck it's working out what I would remove in order to put bloody business in. I really like having might and like a giving Vi overwhelm is like a like such an amazing move as well. As well as like all the five damage things to help get down the cost of our whispered words so that we can get that burst speed draw out like to a nice degree. But there is definitely like a room for improvement. To be fair, at this moment in time, a lot of the decks it is just room for improvement it can be which they can be changed and everything because uh literally these are just decks i'm putting out i'm not getting enough time to test so the games you're seeing are me testing them so they do still need to be refined but it's a really fun deck nonetheless so please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below as well as if you, if you run this deck let me know how it goes through shameless plug time twitch twitter and instagram all the games that you're seeing were streamed live so you want to come catch the action live for yourself on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays please feel free to as well as the discord link down below and and if you enjoy the games that you see, why not consider hitting that subscribe button and help me on my goal to 5,000 followers slash subscribers. But anyway, enough of the pandering and whatnot. Let's get in and see how this thing does in a couple of matchups. We could put in... What are we actually up against? Okay, we're against this. Mystic shot to kill Zoe immediately. I'm going to keep my whirling death option open at the moment. A mystic shot to potentially deal with, with Zoe. But you know, Kato could actually be a nice little fit in this deck. Yeah, again, this is, this, this is just like my first attempt to like, whenever like I, I make decks like this, I always go for like, oh, this is just my first basic, this is what I want in the deck, and then slowly but surely refine it. So what you're seeing is just like, you know, because this is, these decks have not been tested, this is me testing them. Okay, now then. I do actually want to get this in, like... I, I do actually want to throw this in as quickly as possible because yet again the idea is using this with Vi because if we can use if we can use that and we can level up Vi this becomes even more like this becomes even more of a funny card. Okay, so I'm gonna do it immediately just so that it gives me more chance of being able to find it. Boom, time trick. Okay, I'll pass it. 
I could have gone forward and like uh, they they could oh that that I mean I should have definitely just like mulligan for Vi at the beginning, but that's what I'm talking about. So I found Vi. We just need to. I definitely should have gone for just mulliganing for her at the beginning, but you know we mistakes were that. Ooh, what? <laughs> what is in that hand? What is in that hand that prompts? Okay, I've got to I've got to use this now. <laughs> Okay. Do this just because it means that it, it at least be a trade-off. I can I can accept that trade-off. As well as that would actually be helping out all of my like uh, like whispered words and, and stuff. Speaking of speak of the devil and he shall appear. Right. So let's go with this. I, I just want to be getting you if I can get you to plus five attack yet again. Helping out whispered word, like I'll be I'll be happy to get you up to five attack. Okay. I kind of need to leave you back. You you're you're my like defense against the eye of the dragon in a weird way. Okay, we want to wait until we actually level by. So we're gonna throw down this. Give myself this. Ooh, the, the ability of knowing that we have you in hand. The knowledge! The knowledge of you is nice. And I do like. So I could go for a stun on top of this one, so it forces them to have to go forward with this. Or I could use that stun in the future to maybe stun Lee when needed. So there is there is pros pros and actually I'm just gonna throw you like, it would require an additional buff on top to be able to get past, and then I don't really want to use might, but I actually I wish I've got whirling death as well. That's that's the other thing. I, yeah again, whirling death I really want to be using on top of Vi. But if I can try and force in some damage right now, well, damn, we'll do it. Force is meaningless without skill. So. I want to get... I, I could actually use Guile now to get you to get this up. But I feel that they're going to throw down Zenith Blade on top of this. We then go for the Guile on top of Lee. It's going to be fine. Do not worry. Do not fret. Fear not. For I am here. So. We do this. We're getting Vi very close to level. I mean, technically we can use Might on top of Vi as well. That's, that's, that's another thing to always remember. We can always use Might on top of Vi. They can have recalls and they can have... like It's recalls and hush that are the scariest things to me. Recall and hush are the scariest things to Vi right now. Okay. We've got you up to five, so... I'm, but to be fair, I do have this little, this little one. This little one with this little one. <laughs> He just got to five damage. He was gonna be useful to me when it came to whispered word. How dare you take him away from me? Okay. So. One girl wrecking, One girl crew. wrecking crew. I guess. I guess we also throw down his ignition. He he is gone, but not forgotten. Don't worry, everyone. We've got this. He says. I mean, recall is definitely a thing. Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Potential deny right now. I feel like we go forward and then do it afterwards. Like, I honestly got to think like I, I go forward and then do it after. Because like, I could do it now, but the problem is that by doing it now, like, I, I I need to keep my I need to keep my options open, but also deny is a thing on my opponent's side, as well as recall is a thing on my opponent's side. So that's kind of why I've got to play this a little bit more like, you know. Cool, he says. See, I knew it! I knew it! Um before you get recalled. We can make sure that we level her. So before you get recalled and go back down to being zero stats, I, I feel like maybe we get rid of the. Okay, no, we can only get rid of. We can only get rid of the one in front of us. Ignore me. So just before, I mean, potential deny could still come out because if she goes back, she goes back down to zero. She goes back down to like you know, zero. I say zero. It goes back down to two. But okay. I feel like I- ah, She still levels! She might go back to the hand, but it's fine! <laughs> she goes back to the hand level, so it's all good. You might take me back to the hand, but it's perfectly fine, because now she stays this way. Okay, 
and the fact that I've got like ruined record, like all, all this is right now is just we just need to stop Lee from beating me before like as long as they stop Lee from beating me, we'll be fine. They did not get, they did not play two spells. I'm not gonna get. I mean, it's it's starting to look like all we need to do is get Vi out and, and keep Vi out. It's literally all I need to do. I have got issues and problems and such, but. So, how close they to leveling? They just need two more spells, which they're definitely going to be able to do. So, I kind of don't want to throw Vi out right now, right this second, because Vi will just die, I believe. So, it's, it's yet again, it's, it's, it's moves and counter moves. Moves and counter moves. Although they could have another recall, but moves and counter moves. Okay. So, all it takes is one more spell. Really? They've not got one more? I... I'm surprised in that hand you do not have one more spell. I'm guessing maybe they're expecting me to play Vi, so they want to know that they've got the counterplay to Vi. That's all I can think of is the reason why they do this, is because they want to know they have the counterplay to Vi. So, I can, for... I can do this. I kind of want to wait because I want... I want it to be the one with Overwhelm. That keeps coming at them. Okay. Although I'm, I need to also look about mana efficiency. And mana efficiency. Bearing in mind that I can actually get free, free attacks off of her. I feel like I actually just want to go with this now. I go, I go with this now. <coughs> I go with this now because I'm trying to force out a deny. Because if I can force the denies. Or not. I mean, go, go, Vi. Go get him. Go get him, Vi. I will, not hold, I will not hold back. I mean, you've got you've got to block Vi. You've got to block Vi. Vi is lethal. Vi is lethal on her own. Unless you've got recall. But obviously, if you've got recall or stun, like, it doesn't... Like, this one doesn't matter. This is an ephemeral version. Okay. So. All I have to do <laughs> is hope. And then, and then we start throwing down these ones and it becomes really stupid and funny. Potential recall. It's got to be, yeah, stun or recall. That's fine. If I can force, like, the more that I'm forcing these out now, the better. Uh, Riven, Riven might be better. The reason why I've chosen LeBonk is just because, like, yet again, shit, like, the ability of making multiple copies of Vi. So the idea here is that if we get LeBonk and level her, then we can use a spell like spell to make more copies of like so there is actually a reason why it's the bonk but you're obviously right ribbon could really fit into this deck as well because ribbon can give um like cards which is helping level her as well as giving overwhelm and quick attack so you are absolutely right you're absolutely right it, it would be like a great combination as well my only problem here is that i know right so i probably it's one of those things you don't know, like you just think i should just go forward <laughs> when, when you think to yourself, I should probably just immediately go forward. Which is definitely probably what I should have done. Okay. So. Do I want to throw these out as well, just as a as a thing? Or do I leave it? I feel like I feel like I just let I just let the Vi I just let the Vi go in and, and force them to use their stun mechanics. I mean obviously I could throw down Might, but I want to see what my opponent does first. This is this is more about testing the waters of what my opponent's spells and whatnot are gonna be. And then we can use the might if we need to. Okay. So they're going going with increase. Increase health, increase damage. I mean I I, I can respect. And also I can do this! Which still means <laughs> that we can get through regardless! Okay. Potential hush. <laughs> hush will always be. Ah, uh, uh, I mean. So how how does that how? Just one. I mean, I do then have a mystic shot that I can throw at your core. Oh, I mean that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of them for them to plus in. Okay. Whispered word doesn't really help me here. I could get a free attack off of uh, Lebonk, but Lebonk is like a still susceptible to Lee, so it's not exactly like the best thing there. Hmm. Okay. 
I have got issues and problems. And this is this has all gone terribly, terribly wrong. I said like if I do this, I only like, I get them down to two. Can go with the hopes. The hopes of finding solutions. So that's the level up on top of her immediately. I mean, I could have pulled Lee. The reason why I didn't want to pull Lee is because he had more of a health stat. So the idea was to be able to use the might. So that's the reason why I didn't pull Lee. But you're absolutely right. Like pulling Lee yet again would have been a smart choice. Okay. Do I want to throw down you just to get a free attack? Just because like uh, what we want to be trying to do is false out stuff. I mean, the problem is they just throw Lee in at this moment in time. So it's less... It's less of a thing which is actually making any difference here. I feel like I go with Whispered Word. See what I find. Ooh, I mean, potential, potential lethal. Obviously, it depends on whether or not my opponent has got the denies and notifies. There's Vi again! It depends on whether or not my opponent has got the, 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 which is the denies and notifies that they need, which they could do. Okay. All I can do is hope that they have to use too much of their spells. <laughs> too much of their spells they neglect. They neglect the glory that can come their way. Okay. Still keeping themselves in deny and notify territory. I mean, it's definitely still in deny and notify territory. I mean, hey Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Comedy is that I could also just Mystic Shot my own unit down. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could Mystic Shot my own unit down. I feel like we need to test and see what they've got. Because obviously this would be dead. Like, all it takes is one to die. They have done a lot of draw. They have done a lot of draw as well. So the question is, is it actually smarter to kill my own unit? Is it actually smart to kill my own unit and then from that be able to like this? Is it, is it weird that I like that these are the things they because they could have denied that hand right now or no profile. So this is stupid because it is stupid. But <laughs> at the same time, because if, if see that's ah see look I told you. I told you, this is this is the reason why we didn't just go for throwing all that damage into core. <laughs> okay. So. It allows me to play Vi. So we, lo we lose the bonk. We play Vi. Vi. Stands for vicious. Or violence, or whatever the hell you stand for. Whatever you stand for, the point is you stand for it. Let's go! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, again, we want to be seeing how my opponent reacts. Bear it in mind. That, so they're healing core. The plan is to heal core. We shake him. We've got might. We do have might. This is... Ah! Spare the shield! Okay, they're, all, all they're trying to do is currently buff him right now. Give him that thing. I mean, they're still dead. I mean, we could put Might on the top just to, just to let them know. Just to let them know how dead they were. But show them though to my opponent! Really well played. Really well played. It, obviously, if they throw down a stun, or actually recall would be the worst thing for me right now. But if they had those things, you would think they would have done it before. But yeah, a recall would actually be the worst thing for me to see. But... I hope they do not have it. I, sh I should have just left it. Why did I use a spell? Why did I use a spell? <laughs> I totally should have left it. I mean, I had it. I, I don't know. Why, why did I do a move? Carver, how you doing? Hello again. How much fun are you having with the new set? Uh, I'm having fun with the new ARAM. Uh, plus 10, plus 10 with new champions. So, yeah, no, so it, uh, which it, uh, I, I can see doing some funny stuff with, obviously, the new... Uh, 
ac action card where would you? Oh, would you uh, is it ac action action card whereby uh, you can give plus stats to obviously all champions and give them spell shields using that with Howling Abyss. Random guy username. How you doing? What's up, guys? Just quickly stopping by during my break to say hi and to tell you that I'm not dead. I'm just busy. That's fair enough, random. I can 100% understand. I am very busy myself, so I can 100% understand that you're busy. But how you doing? How's work going, buddy? I hope it's all going well for you, but shout out mode to my opponent. I know that I should be just trying to find Vi, but I'm gonna tell myself I've got time trick. We're, we're fine to eventually, right? I mean, obviously the sooner you find Vi the better, so I should have thrown everything back, but Ballistic Bot was too good. Ballistic Bot was too good not to have. Okay. Obviously my opponent can have Mystic Shot. I massively expect my opponent to have Mystic Shot. So I throw down LeBonk and immediately Mystic Shot comes for me. That is my assumption. I could actually also go with um, throwing down Glory. Glory Seeker with the knowledge that I can then throw down this. Because I kind of want to get this in my deck as quickly as possible. Okay. So, going to go this way. It's not ideal. Not the best. All I can say is there is helping. Oh crap, crap, crap. I did, I did say that I want to get this into my deck as quickly as possible, so I'll do that. Okay. Another Glory Seeker. It's fine. We, we, we've helped our way onto Whispered Words. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be fine. Maybe, hopefully, one day. Ooh. Okay. I could go with Time Trick, but I'm not going to. I feel like I want to throw down Snapper. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to throw down the Ignition. Throw down the Ignition and then throw down LeBlanc. The reason why I want to do it this way is because I want to go back to there. I mean, oh, oh you know it's going to be a Mystic Shot in that hand. You know, I know it's going to be a Mystic Shot in that hand. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Okay. Mystic Shot. Oh, would you? Actually, they could go into... Uh, the comedy is they could go into um, the... the What's his face card? They, they could go into the Equinox to stop her from having challenge, but that would also get rid of her I cannot block. <laughs> so I would actually be fine with it because as, like, the fact that getting her the ability to block would actually be very nice. Right. Okay. I do want to throw you down. Mystic shot. Mystic shot. Mystic shot. Mystic shot. Mystic shot. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. The sweet smell of science! Okay, I know how devastating Heimer can be. I know how devastating Heimer can be, so if you think that I'm gonna allow that man to live. Okay, they at least they at least they at least got some some bots out of him first. Mystic shot, yep. Okay. Before you before you go to the graveyard, my lovely glory seeker, you shall have vengeance on Ima. We can't let him live. It's, <laughs> as harsh as it sounds, we cannot let him live. I know how powerful a Heimer can be. That's going to be another mystic shot, isn't it? That's going to be another mystic shot. Oh no, I, I legit thought they were getting the price down because they were going to go for the mystic shot option. Okay. We need to remember we need to remember is that we do have this and so i mean she's very close to leveling so all i can do is use this and hope that it's going to kill her <laughs> okay i mean there are a multitude of things they can throw down that stop this but i need to do it curse you yugi Okay. So, I mean, Zo like Zo leveling is not the one I need to see. Zo leveling is not the one who I need to see. But um, okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I I've got through worse scrapes. He says, "We've been through worse. Else? Been through worse. We've been through worse. <laughs> if only I could play you as well." Okay. So. This is not, this is not ideal. They, they basically level her. Like, they basically level her this turn. 
I need, I need answers. I need answers. We've not even found Vi. I need answers. Potentially, like, you could actually be answers in a really stupid way. Uh, my opponent could use Hush. Which is like, you know, less what I want to see. But also, you could draw me answers. It's, it's a Catch-22 situation here. Okay. I kind of want to use Ruin Reckoner. I want to use Ruin Reckoner because it's one of the new cards, but I definitely should have taken Draw. <laughs> draw would have been the smarter choice. Even I can admit the Draw would have been the smarter choice. <laughs> okay. So we get the level up. They are going to be having Crazy Town Banana Pants. Crazy Town Banana Pants with Zoe. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I don't know, I don't know why everyone's worrying. Do, do not fret. I mean, they're going to they're gonna kill Le Bon, can't they? The, you know for a fact that through that, they've literally just got Meteor or whatever it is to be able to kill her immediately. Okay. I'll throw down this first. Throw down this. Because I feel like she's going to die. I have to hope that she's not going to die, but I feel like she's going to die. Okay, wait! Wait! She's not dead! Okay, we might have... It's okay, everyone. I mean, that's the level up. That's the level up on Zoe, which is scary, and all is lost. Is it actually worthwhile using this on you? It does force out another thing, but it's not like you've got Overwhelm or anything, so it's not like... So, it's not like you've got Overwhelm, but you would still get your, your little... The, the, the only nice thing here is that you would still get your little um, level up thing potentially so we, we do now have mirror image we haven't got Vi but we do have draw I have them okay Haim has got all the answers but does he <laughs> the problem is it's all the bots it's all the bots they can start making okay don't worry Darling, you are don't, don't worry, good. we'll be fine. Maybe, hopefully, one day. Really so we're not going to be fine, but if I keep telling myself I'll be fine, one day this will this will ring true. <gasps> okay, that's not good. That is uh, not the spell that I need to be seeing right now. And sadly, there's nothing I can actually do about it. <laughs> I've got nothing. This is it's times like this I should have run bloody business. I mean, bruh, indeed, random guys. It's time for this. I should have run bloody business. That would have been a great card to run there. Okay. So. I mean, all all I can do is at least stall, stall out one of the, the, the bigger stat. I do obviously have other stats, which I can't do anything about right now. I can at least stall out the big boy stat. Go down to seven. Am I willing to go down to seven? Sorry, I'll go down to seven. He says. Nonchalantly. I really need to kill Heimer. Heimer. Heimer is without a doubt a menace to society. I must be dealt with. But okay. I need I need to find, like, say, Vi or something. I, I need I need something which is gonna help. We do have might. Might actually does like uh, present some nice some nice options. So I need just a moment. I need just a moment. Just watch. Watch. <laughs> Gonna heal core. G give gives them quick attack. That's the level up on Heimer. Everyone needs an upgrade. Okay. There are a number of spells that they can have that would ruin this plan. <laughs> there is a number of spells that they can have that will ruin this plan. But when there's nothing left to believe in, like Hush, Mystic Shot, Get Excited, all of these things and more. Equinox, if they find Equinox. <laughs> there's a lot of things that they can find that will ruin the plan. But... Sometimes you have to hope and in hope I knew it <laughs> I knew Equinox would come In hope we trust 
So for glory, get him down to three. We could use. So, bear in mind, all it takes is one invisible card, and they can they all go elusive. So we can't we kind of do want to try and force out what we can, where we can. Um, I keep I keep you back. But what we want to do here is actually, <laughs> if we use you to kill this and get them down, get we, we, we can we can get them down to two. Like if they block all of these, we can get them down to two. Actually, no, we, we wait and see what they do. We wait and see what they do. But basically, if I can get them down to two, I can Mystic Shot. So there is that option. Okay. So, the question is here, is it worthwhile trying to get them down to two and then going for the Mystic Shot plan, or do we just try to kill Hymer? They could have heals! <laughs> Bear in mind, they are running Targon, which means that it's heals galore! Okay. So part of me is considering get them down to two. If I don't do this, I feel like I'm dead anyway. Right? Let's face it, like, if, uh, if I don't... If I don't do this plan and hope that they don't have any heals, I'm already dead. So it's got to the point where I might as well go for the plan. <laughs> I have nothing else. I have nothing else left in this world but hope. Now, obviously, we know for a fact there's a number of different healing spells they could definitely have. A number of different healing spells they could definitely have. And hopefully now... There's only one two-cost healing spell! Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Don't have the two- Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> yes! It's got to be a- Oh, we started off with Vi. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I've got Draw. I've got Might. I've got Vi. I've got- I mean, but they've also got Vengeance. <laughs> They've also got potential vengeance, atrocity, and right of negation. But it's okay, everyone. It's okay. We've got Vi, and so I feel okay. Ballistic bot! I mean, if only we could have got you, I could have saved both urchins. If I knew I was going to get you, I would have saved both urchins. Okay. Throw down ballistic. Ooh. My main concern is Vile Feast. Like, I definitely know that Vile Feast is played in that kind of a deck. So, it's all about moves and counter moves. Moves and counter moves. So, we do this move, which then means that, like, I just want to see what they do. Of course. Which leaves them out of Vile Feast territory. Okay. And I could go forward, but I just go in with the with the mist. It's not really worth my time. Obviously, we're helping them with a slay here, but I'd rather get rid of free damage. I could have waited and obviously used this to kill like a Vigo himself, but it's okay. I will I will live with the decisions that I'm currently making as I slowly but surely level up by and hope hope that by leveling her, I'm doing some good good stuff. So, I could throw her out. I guess it depends on whether or not they throw down their man. The main problem is that if they do throw down their man, I don't actually get much of a benefit out of it. Slay, 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 slay. So we're helping out Nasus. Helping out Nasus a lot. Okay. Slays for days. If I had the mana that I could have used Whirling Death with by, I definitely would have considered it. Ooh, LeBonk is actually like a by far a better use of my time. I expect them to play Viego. Or not! Okay, fair enough. Then that's fine. I mean, they are buffing him, I guess. Do I want to throw down a stun? Which forces them... Forces them to have to use their other unit. Like, so... Just so that we're getting it out of the way... There's literally any room that I do this. So we force them. Force them to have to remove their free which is their free free. Because if we we're basically trying to make sure they've got nothing on the board 
to be able to like work here. Like, ooh, ho, ho. nicely done. Well played. Well played. I mean, at least you're at five attack. I should be saving mana because I technically do. I, I keep saying it. I want to be using you with Whirling Death. So I should technically be saving my mana to make sure I can do this. Okay. I have all the tricks. Okay. If I play you, it kind of discourages them going forward, but they could have another black spear. Like that, that's where my mind is thinking is that they could have another black spear. So I'm actually just going to go with, go with this. See what, how my opponent reacts. Because if they just throw this forward, I let it happen. I, I can take free damage. My, my, my life is but a resource. So... I can even just take all of this damage. Or do I want to kill you just in case they drop him and so they don't have a unit to kill? Like, that could be... Yeah, again... I could, I could kill you. I'll leave it. Black Spear is still a thing. But Black Spear wouldn't kill Vi. It would just do a lot of damage to Vi. Oh, wait. I want to see whether or not they use it on top of you. They might, they might not. Like they, they could just pass, and I wouldn't blame them for passing. But I want to see if they've got another black spear. Now's the perfect time to use this on top of this ballistic bot. Yep, they leave it. I, I, I should have played five, but I will stick to my guns. Vengeance is a thing, so gonna go with the ignition first. Because vengeance is a thing, so if we just play it down by immediate vengeance. Vengeance is, is kind of off the table. So, throw down you. Doing this my way. It's my way. My way or the highway. So. They can't write of negation. They can't write of negation right now. So, that's why I considered this to be okay. Yeah, I could go for throwing might and grabbing this. So I could actually just go for might and grab this. Yet again, it's not a bad strategy. Let's get to the fun part. Get some down to one. Like I'm probably gonna end up regretting this move. I should have just gone for killing Viego when I had the chance to kill Viego. <laughs> Because I did have a this glorious chance just to kill him. But I need to remember that I do have Mystic Shots in this deck. And so if I just find a Mystic Shot. Plus, bear in mind, we do have a, a Ballistic Bot out right now. So while we've got a Ballistic Bot, that is potential lethal to my opponent right now. So they get in draw. They need to find, they need to find their rights of negations. But right now, this is lethal, um, potentially. And then if we don't get lethal, we could potentially find Mystic Shot. So, that's the reason why I ended up just changing my mind. Shadow mode to my opponent! That's why I ended up changing my mind. Viego's on the slide. But this, like, I could take down Viego, but I don't need to. I can just go for the, for the, uh, which is the damage that's going to be enough to put them in lethal range. So, Shadow mode to my opponent. Yeah, I feel like I keep both of them. Although my problem is if they get out of really early Z, I'm going to be scared. Going to throw down the Ballistic Bot, which will give me the, the stuff to work with Urchin. So that's the reason why like, there wasn't anything in my hand I really wanted to Urchin. Of course. Of course there is. On the plus side, I might be able to do just one point of damage to him. So he has taken one. <laughs> he is mortal after all. <laughs> okay. So, the question is right now, do I, I feel like I want to go with a little bit of development. Because the reason why I choose development is because I know that they've got the potential of Z as well. So I'd rather develop than give the, use the ignition to buff you. Because right now, they've got quick attack. I've got them said, down to one. I so, I'm less, I'm less inclined to care. We've got our Vi's slowly but surely going up. We can do this. We can do this. We're, we're, throwing, in, we're throwing in the ephemeral attack forward. Right. <laughs> Just because I know that the most likely fear is that Rock Hopper goes in front of this, they can't even they can't use the buff to get past this in terms of if they had 
uh, the one mana, like buff plus uh, plus one plus three, or plus three plus one, uh, they couldn't get past it. So that's why I was kind of okay with this. I wouldn't be throwing down multiple Ballistic Bots, because Ballistic Bots start to make Vi go crazy. Although, if I do wait and play Vi you know, with Might, when you see it, my friend. if I play Might with, which is, if I play like a Vi with Might, that would actually be like quite a devastating maneuver. My opponent could have Recall. That's my only concern. Or Quick... Don't, I don't think that deck would run Quicksand, though. I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't think that that deck would run Quicksand. <laughs> Meat bags. I definitely should not. I, like, I, I don't mind throwing you out as well because that is meaning that Vi is not going to have vulnerable on her. So I expect that this gets taken and killed immediately. I expect these moves. But I need to remember to myself that I can throw down Vi, throw down Might, and um, hopefully they don't have the recall. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna tell myself in my head. It'd be fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Don't worry. Vi comes down with my. I just really hope there's no recall. They come to recall. Just leave it. Leave it. What? Who? Who needs recall at a time like this? It'd be stupid to play recall. Don't do it. <laughs> Only a fool plays recall. Okay. Be fine. We've got another. We've got another Vi in hand anyway. So if this one dies or gets recalled, it goes back down to zero. We've got the other one who can help us out. Okay. I mean, that, it, it, it is me. They're, they're getting the level up on top of him, which does make a lot of sense. Because that now means that. It means that I. It makes it harder to go on top of him. Because it, it does mean I'm sacrificing Vi. Like, I am sacrificing her to kill him. But at the same point, every single time that he's striking, he is getting this down. And so we're kind of doing it to slow him down. Because we've got another Vi in hand. And also, like, you know, the problem is it won't level Vi because she won't survive it. But we will still, like, you know, get rid of that Ash and do some damage in. So, it feels like it's the move I have to do. Because I've kind of gone all in on doing it. Okay. Because I've kind of gone all in on doing it. So, it's times like this I wish that I had Draven's Whirling Death in my hand right now. Because Whirling Death would be lovely, of course! Um, I mean, that's, that is devastating. Well played. Well played to my opponent! On a, that grappling hook coming in clutch! Grappling hook coming in clutch of my opponent there. Really well played. I'm not, even, I'm not even mad, that was just glorious play! So, wait, because if I go forward right now, like Ash is being played! How are you doing? Uh, go, I haven't seen you play Ashen yet. I have actually, I played Ashen last night. Oh, imagine if we could level Vi. If we could level Vi, this becomes like glory. Okay. Not gonna lie, though. This is... is it's becoming scary times. Scary... I actually like the idea of this deck as well. This this deck is actually quite a nice... Nice concept. Okay. We are taking... I mean... I feel like they've got double attack. I, I feel like they are waiting to use double attack on top of him. Which actually would be devastating. I, I I just want to let you know I am expecting to see double attack like the which is the um, fist of fury hit him. So like just, just so people don't think I'm being taken unawares. I fully expect it. Oh, okay, it doesn't happen. Okay, <laughs> that would have been devastating if it had happened though. Um, okay, Vi. A true Felionian, welcome. welcome. I could have also gone with Fran down Vi into. This. My, my main concern is like, I want, I, I want leveled up vibe, but I don't want her just to instantly die to Ashen, which is what's gonna happen, unless I use you to stun, which I could do. Okay, now there could be recalls. There could be another like, there could be another grappling hook. Okay, I know the grappling hook is a thing. Okay, ooh, right now this could be this could be a trade, but. Oh, there's so many different buffs I can see being a thing in that deck that I'm not going to fall for it. Okay. So, what do I actually want to do? We throw, we throw down you first. 
<laughs> We've run you first. Deny is obviously capable of got. They're in Ionia, so deny and right of negation are both things. Uh, how's the game going? It's going well, Blaine. Good to hear that you're doing well as well. Uh, just want to wait for the. Which is the which is, uh, just wait uh, till the meta is stale. Uh, fuck, I'm distracted. We which is, I meant Vigo. It's all good. Finn right, th that, they fine. definitely are gonna have another. They're gonna have another one, aren't they? But uh, I mean, another grappling hook. God damn you, grappling hook and your amazing abilities. Okay. So, I expect I expect to see grappling hook. They have leveled this, so they have they have to use this now. I'm assuming spell shield. Like buff with spell shield going into both these champions is not a bad thing. Or oh, did they go for the? We don't we we don't get to see what they've chosen yet. All we know is that they've chosen one of them. My assumption would be, like if I was going to guess, my assumption would be they would go with shields and the sentinels, but they could also go with uh, font of power. I could see that as well. Okay. going to do this just because... The, the only reason I'm doing this is because if they do choose the spell shield, he's already stunned. So if they do choose the spell shield, then they're already stunned, and I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to know that they're already stunned. Okay. Might as well go forward like this. I do feel like there will be buffs. Obviously, like they can buff this up. They can throw an additional buff in as well. Or do I want to go with go with this move first? Go with this move first so that we can potentially level Vi when there's no danger to her. <laughs> level Vi while there's no danger. Go. Go level her. Well, was it? Well, there's no danger going on with her. And then potentially. I mean, I still feel like they could have grappling hook. But if they had grappling hook, they would have used it, right? If you, if you had grappling hook, you would, you would have used it by now. One would assume. I would assume. Okay. So. We now throw down a stun. <laughs> we now throw down a stun on Merciless Hunter. There's going to be a grappling hook. There's got to be a grappling, grappling hook. But if you had grappling hook, why would you have not used it before? Okay. Because I mean, like, they, they had the ability. Like, they could have they could have made it so that Vi didn't level there. Which is why there's the surprise to me. is why they didn't just decide to do that. Okay. I have got problems with the fact that do I want to throw down you? Throw down you just so I've got additional. Like, I feel like what I want to do is I'm going to go forward to try and get rid of their merciless hunter. Quit struggling. So get rid of their merciless hunter and then throw down this. I don't really. There's, there's not many cards I want to throw this down on top of here because I could throw it down on top of Guile, but I kind of want. Guile as well, because it could potentially start Ashen. But I want Might, and I also want my ability to have two tacks, and I want my ability to draw, and I want my LeBonk. At the moment, I'm going to get rid of Might. It's probably going to be the, it's probably going to be a misplay, because Might is such a powerful card in this deck. But I'm going to go with it. My my assumption is my opponent immediately goes forward. Because there's no reason for them not to open. Ah, Jerry, you come just in the nick of time. <laughs> well done, Jerry. Jerry comes to save the day. To gain the strength of rivers. Okay. We can stun Zed. We can make sure that we don't have to worry about Zed. I mean, that's, that's it's, it's not the one you want to see, but okay. So I could throw you down. Still have the ability to throw down LeBonk going into a free attack off of LeBonk. Which is not bad. It's not a bad decision at all. Will for what I, I will take. I will take these options. This is such a trying to work out the best strategy. Well, knowing that death and destruction and terribleness is, is is are all things. Which one did they choose, by the way? Like uh, which which? Or did they like which? Did, did I miss what they chose in terms of like? Because isn't or is that the 
Rangers result like I thought that was just the card that you got off of him. I thought that while there was a resurrection card. Did they just burn the card? Did they just not use it in terms of it didn't make it? Because it is a fleeting card. So they, did they literally burn the glorious card that they had in their hands? Okay. We go down to four. We go down to four, which is not ideal. It's not, it's not, the, it's not where you want to go. Ooh, goes down to one. Even less where you want to go. Okay. Places to go. People to be. Go get them, LeBonk. <laughs> go get them in quick attack form. Because it's all the moves that I have. Okay. So. On the plus side, we have removed one Ashen. But I have so many other problems on them. They're also so, so close to another warlord's which it warlord's chest thing. Okay. Ne did never even hit reputation. Okay. See what I can get. Overwhelm might not be the worst decision. Okay. I mean, I'm definitely gonna grab. Which I'm definitely gonna grab you. To, 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 just to, like the thing of me is like it's do I do I grab the runner? I kind of have to grab the runner because they've got overwhelm. So kind of have to kind of have to go with that. Okay. Out of my way. So I could go with overwhelm, but is overwhelm really saved me at this moment in time? Probably not. I've got a big problem when it comes to Zed. But I've got draw. Oh, that's not what I want to say. That's not what I want to say. If, I, if, I, if you were anything but overwhelm. If you were anything but an overwhelm unit. I could also obviously use this just to get you down. But it's not going to be enough. Like to get the spell shield down. I guess I could use this on top of Zed. But at the same point like. I can, I can use this on top of Zed, but I still have got the big ass problem when it comes to the overwhelm that I can do nothing about. Oh, share the vote to my opponent. Share the vote to my opponent. Really well played. Ah, oh, they even have this. So even if I did somehow find a way. Devastating. Yo, how are you doing? Uh, we just uh, got a lava hook shot. Indeed, the hook shots are like Ash's hook shots are devastating. Actually, like a, he he is a really like well designed champion. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I mean, oh wait, if I, oh, I would have got rid of your spell shield. Why did I believe in the heart of the cards? I should have believed in the heart of the cards. If I would have believed in the heart of the cards, we could have got rid of your spell shield, and we then could have used like whirling. De like I I could have. Theoretically survived. <laughs> I could have theoretically survived here if, if I just believed in the heart of the cards for once in my life. Because, yeah, what we could have done is we could have thrown down Jerry Jerry. J Jerry Jerry done this. And then we could have, like, you know, got rid of the... We could have got rid of and actually killed. So, terrible moves on my part. I knew... I knew what I should have done. I should have gone for the attack there. I should have waited to see what I drew rather than going in. I moved too soon. That was my problem. I moved too soon and I was punished for it. Share the vote to my opponent. Really well played. From flash of brilliance that could save me. Save me. That doesn't save me. Okay. Is there anything from you? Save me. That doesn't save me! Okay. <laughs> get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me. 